Hi everyone, so we've got a very special vlog today as we've come to the Mental Health Museum which is probably more interesting than it actually sounds. It's fascinating, there's padded cells, there's chains that people used to be locked in um, and there's some more modern day therapy treatments too. And we've also got the lovely Rachel here. Hi from Coactive Charity who organised the trip today. I'm just too good. <laughs> well, so we're gonna... it would be, uh, if it's thanks to Marie who does also Arts Cafe with us and she also works here and she's very kindly uh, arranged us to come here today even on when it's half term. Yeah. So we're very grateful for that. Yeah, so this is a half term treat for us around Mental Health Museum. So should we take a look and say hi Jasmine? Oh no, you're Jasmine, I'm not Jasmine. <laughs> should we have a quick explore? So those of you who follow my channel over on Mama May, I talk a lot about mental health um, because I'm on medication, but it's quite I'm scary here. and Rachel is too. And it's quite scary to see not so very long ago what we would have been on uh, or in a padded mm. cell for example um, so I'm very thankful that treatment has changed and that we can use stuff like creativity yeah. so much more because we actually went there's a charity called Creative Minds and we went on a community reporter training day with them here at Mental Health Museum which is where we how we found it I have been it's in the grounds of Field Head Hospital and I have been to Field Head before for my own mental health issues it's in Wakefield it's a huge mental health hospital there's secure units, inpatient units, outpatient units. There's lots going on at Fieldhead. Mm. Um, but today we're going to focus on this really cool mental health museum. Nice. Do you have a little look? Rachel, do you want to show Jasmine and Ariana? So guys, <laughs> where are they? Around. Where are you? <laughs> I'll show so you do you want to show the padded cell? I will. Can we look them up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm coming to lock you up. I'm coming to lock you up. <laughs> so this is not open yet, but I'm sure it will be. But this is what you use, what you got, what, if you, well, like us, yeah. Um, you would be locked in there, which is not very nice. Exactly. Yeah. Do you want to have a look in the padded cell? There we go. That's it. There's a light switch on your left. You can turn on the one. That's it. There you go. Do you want to have a look in there? In seclusion. <laughs> so do you know like I'm on medication now? Instead of medication, I probably would have been put in this. I think I would have gone even more mad. Could you imagine? I wouldn't have been able to blog or vlog or write or <laughs> text or Facebook. Just be in a padded cell. It's a bit Marie, spooky, isn't it? Any light? So we are at the Mental Health Museum at Fieldhead and we are going to show you some things what it was like if you went into an institution or if you worked at an institution and all the different equipment they used and all the different uniforms they would wear. So let's have a look. There's a model here and we're just going to have a look at the model to see um, what it was like all those years ago. And that is the um, model of what the institution would have looked like all those years ago. Now we're going to go in the hallway and have a look at some pictures. This is the entrance. As you can, as you can see, there's all different pictures of um, old things that used to be in the museum and uh, people that used to work there so I'm just going to show you a big map of what the institution used to look like because it's um, 
well, quite big. <laughs> now I'm going to show you of a gentleman that used to work at the institution a long time ago. He was a officer, a mental officer. And here I'm going to show you um, what uh, the bo dead bodies used to go in to take them to the mortuary to find out why they died and what caused it. And this is some of the equipment that they used to use in, in, in those days. And believe you me, I am glad I am not in those days. Yeah, so ECT, in the 1930s it was believed that schizophrenia could be temporarily cured through chemically induced convulsions or from epileptic seizures. So that's an example ECT pack. And this is a little bit up to date of what it looks like now. Oh yes, this is one of my favourites. I know it's a bit weird that it's my favourite, but this is what I might have been in if I was in those days. It's a straight jacket and they used to put them on to stop people from hurting themselves or others. This is uh, what they used um, to put you in to keep you safe and from others and half. Be looked after and believe so you me, it is not, not as nice as it is today. Then, you can see today what seclusion rooms look like now. But things, it's a lot harder and there's a lot more admin and policies to go through. Um, before you would get admitted into a seclusion room. That's seen as a very last resort. This is um, a massive table of where people would go to have the autopsy done when they had died. This is some of the equipment that they used to make. The um, uniforms or the um, cellmates um, straight jackets. That's a time recorder down there. So the staff were required to clock in and clock out. And this is one of the caps that the uh, staff used to wear when they were working there. And this is some of the equipment when you were a little bit better, but you were still not well. They used to make these shoes so you can have a wander around the grounds but also they would put little studs on so when you try to escape from the asylum you won't be able to run as far and they will be able to catch you. Now this one is an invis supposed to be an invisible straight jacket so what it would look like today. These are some medicine bottles that were used in those days as well. Now this one is different activities that they used to use in those days and also we use them today as well um, little activities that would keep that would keep them um, active and also to try and take the mind off the illness and treatment and it used to calm them down and we use that today and I think it's quite amazing how little activities can just keep you calm and healthy and to stay strong. Now this is some more equipment that they used to use in those days before all this equipment was updated. And now we are back at the entrance and that's the end of our blog about the uh, Health Museum at Field Head. And I've really enjoyed it and I'm sure Sophie has enjoyed it as well. And I can't wait to uh, work here because uh, hopefully I'll be able to be a volunteer with Marie in here. And it's so exciting, I just can't wait. What and do you think, Sophie? I think it's really fascinating. It's well worth a visit. It's open Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, 1 till 4, or you can book privately as well. Um, but it's one of the most 
physical ways to see how mental health treatment has changed over the years. So make sure you subscribe for more interesting content. Bye! Bye! Bye!